Hey there, this is Ken Schaefer showing Frameforge version 4's um, green screen feature. Now the green screen feature is actually more than sort of one feature. It actually allows you to do several different things, but we're going to focus on this one, a virtual set. So I've built a set in here, and this is the set that's ultimately going to be built in the computer and composited in. So basically, I built a rough version, and this is a big hanger, and there's a door here. And presumably, when you shoot this, um, you'll have a green screen set up with this area, and all of this is virtual. So I'm going to show you how we do it in Frameforge. So I built this set. And I'm going to go back to the um, blueprint view, and I'm going to push that set off the top of the screen just so that it's out of my way. As you can see, since the camera's moving with it, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to add a new camera, and this is going to be our green screen camera. And this one is the blue camera, as you may, you should notice. And then we'll go to the cameras category and select the green screen object. So let's, where is it? Okay, here we go. Cameras, got it. I could have just that green screen up there, but what the hey. Okay, so now what I do is I drag in the green screen object in front of that camera and this automatically pops up. Now we have two types of cameras here. We have the um, source camera, which is gonna be our red one in this case. So we drag that over here. And then we have the camera that's pointing at the green screen, which is going to be our uh, B camera. So let's drag that over here. That's our foreground camera. Now we have a couple of different types of green screens. One is a physical green screen. And in this case, we're going to care about where the green screen is um, in relationship to the actors, if they're going to you know, hit it, that kind of thing. And why don't we start with that one and let's make it fairly big so we can specify the size here. It's a physical green screen and we can say associate the camera with the green screen. So now what you'll see is um, that this has a, sorry, green frame around it. And this one is a green sort of overlay on it. The green overlay means that this one is the source of the green screen. And the one with the green frame about it means that this is the one that is viewing the green screen. So again, if we go back to our set here, um, you can see that this is our green screen camera here pointing at our green screen. And then we have our green screen, which has a physical width of 30 meters and I made it fairly shallow. So now what we can do is we can take our actors and we will drop it down in front of the green screen and he is immediately on set. Now, obviously, A, he just hit the back of the wall, which is not good, and B, he looks way too large. So what we'll do is we will control just the foreground camera. We don't want to do both, and I'll get to, to that in a second. And we want to pull back a bit so that it's going to be relatively the right size. So the other thing we can do is we probably want to match this camera's parameters so that it's um, visually equal. So what we'll do is we'll double click that. We can see that the angle of view is 57, camera height is nine meters, etc. So let's take that here, back here. Yeah, see our camera height is way lower. So let's make our camera height nine meters because the closest we can match the foreground, the more it'll match the background. Now this thing that you're seeing right here is the edge of the green screen. So I have a couple of options. One is I can make this an edgeless green screen, which we had decided not to do. Um, the other thing I can do is I can scale its depth so that it gets out of the way. And this will tell us, whoops, sorry, I'm scaling my guy. We're gonna scale instead the green screen. There we go. So now we're gonna scale just its depth. And that's probably too big. Um, and you can see here, this is the frame of the green screen. So as I move this around, we can see the frame of the green screen so that we can figure out exactly what size we need and that kind of thing. Now, there's another type of green screen which is the edgeless green screen, which is the same, except for it doesn't show these edges, which means that if we aren't worrying specifically about 
um, this kind of thing, then um, let's drag. Then um, we it's okay that we don't see the edges. Now he's hitting the back of the green screen, which means we need to dolly back. Oh, here's my guy, and we need to zoom in. And let's move these around. Okay, let's see where they are in relationship. Okay, so here's my green screen. 